Well, he's what, 23? He's been driving 16, 17 years. And he's younger now than the first time I drove a race car. I was 24. That's amazing. <laughs> did you have a career defining moment like he did, David? Uh, mine was uh, along the way. I mean, I always knew I loved that stuff, but because I wasn't around racing, I was around go kart, mini bikes, just the, you know, Sears and stuff like that ones. And I'd take them up to the school and drive them. So I never even knew how to get involved in racing. Once I worked for, I said GMAC and the guys were going to go to Atlanta. That was a big moment for me to have an access to it, to see it. And then I knew I want to do it. And I'd go to the shop and say, hey, I got guys got a race car. I said, well, if you don't want to drive it, I, I'll, I'll drive it. And of course that was me being naive and didn't know the business. And the guy was, said, yeah, well, I, I think I'll be driving that thing, but thanks anyway. Um, and so for me, my defining moment was, as he said, you know, it's, you don't know how much, I guess if you were, if you weren't naive and didn't realize just how hard it was, you might not do it. But that's true in anything. And racing is one of those things that's so difficult because it, you, you have to do it by a certain time, at a certain age. For me, I was lucky that the era that I drove, they didn't want to put you in a car until you were over 30. You know, I don't want a young kid crash in my car. Today, and I knew that when he was younger, it changed. Now, by the time you're 30, you better have won the F1 title because you're not going to get it after that. And so, but, and so you have that, that well, I could go work and, and start a business and make money and pay for it. But by the time I do that, I'll be too old to race at the level I want. And then now you realize it's not in your hands because racing, unlike tennis or football, costs a lot of money to do. Somebody's got to pay for it, you know, car and all expenses. So tires, fuel. And so you're at that dilemma of, well, I don't have time to go out and make money and come back and do that. But now I'm in somebody else's mercy to, to put me in a car. And so that you just hope it happens. And I, I got to a point where I think I had a nervous breakdown after you try so hard thinking you're going to do it. Of course, you know, growing up, mom and dad always tell you, you can do what you want. But this was different. It wasn't going like you want. But I think it's just because you didn't realize how hard things were to get where you want to go in anything. And so finally, after one year, I said, you know what? I, I, this is not going to work out. I'm going to go out and start doing another business of some sort. And this fellow I was telling you about before was in my driving school that I was teaching for Skip Barber and said, if I buy a car, will you race it? And I said, yeah, yeah, sure. You and everybody else. I was so tired of the care. But he actually did. But but I'd gone through such a tough time over that winter. I said, you know what? I'll never let it ruin my life again. And I think that's one of those things that makes you realize that it, it, yes, the passion, I'd do anything for it. I'd rather do that than eat or breathe or drink. But you have to do that in order to get somewhere and it's out of your control. So I said, you know what? And part of that was probably why it helped make, make things happen because I stopped being so desperate. You know, instead of when somebody said, how's it going at the racetrack? I go, oh, you know, what was me? And you know, I should have the ride, but I don't. Instead, I go, you know, I'm still working at it. That attitude, I think, helps. But, you know, and, and you have your son, and, and start off in go karts, I did everything, but then slowly, okay, you got to wash it, you got to do the clutch, now you got to prep everything to see, okay, do you, is it just fun or do you really want to do this? And I got to say exactly what he said. Ever since he started, his passion for it has just gotten stronger and his talent's there, but you have to have both. And he's got both, and that's what makes me now realize that he's the real deal. I mean, I knew that before. It's like, it's just nice to see that something we can share together. And I, I agree as much as you'd like that career to keep going without that, you, you lose that character building uh, of, you know, of being a better person in general, because you realize that it, it is hard as that not just while well, we're lucky it keeps going or this is the way it's supposed to be. It's really hard. But like I said, anything in life that you want to do that's worth it is hard. You just got to work hard and, and pers persevere.